Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail, and with me is Carrie Taylor. Carrie is the woman behind the Squawk Fox blog, which is all about frugal living. Carrie, let's talk about some of life's greatest money wasters. What are some of the top ways people waste money in their day-to-day -day lives? Well, I think you might be surprised with my answer, Rob, because I don't think it's coffee like we all seem to think it is. It's not lattes. No, words. I don't okay. think it's lattes. I think if we look at the big expenses in life, like the houses we buy, the cars we drive, even the investments we make in our RSP. And we add up all these, you know, interest and fees and, and mileage and, you know, all these costs that we have, and we divide that by 365, I think you'd be really surprised with how much we're spending on a day-to-day -day basis just on these three choices. And if you make these choices right, I think you can have as much coffee as you like. So, Carrie, how do I know when I'm making a purchase, whether I'm paying too much or not? I'm buying a house. How do I know whether I'm paying too much for that, for example? Well, I think you need to do some comparison shopping. So, you know, maybe not so much for the house, but if you're buying a gadget or clothing or whatnot, you know, go to different retailers and see if they have a price match guarantee. See if they're willing to negotiate with you. Ask for a discount. My favorite place to look is to go online, you know, in comparison shop for gadgets or whatnot, and see, you know, what the retailers are selling. Sometimes you can get, even get free shipping. Now, you just mentioned electronics. Let me ask you a frugal question about electronics. What is your view? Is it better to go big and buy the best when you're, when you're buying electronics, or should you spend the cheapest and replace often? Well, you know, I love electronics. I'm a blogger. I've bought some really nice laptops over the years. And I think, you know, I'd rather not upgrade often. I'm sure the retailers would love that, but I'd rather keep this stuff at the landfill. And I think you can have the best of both worlds by buying refurbished items. That's interesting. So, in other words, go for used, or, or and does that mean using Craigslist and Kijiji to buy other people's? No, used? no, no. So, refurbished is when someone returns an item to the store, and it goes back to the manufacturer, usually with a full, and it comes back to the store with a full man manufacturer's um, uh, warranty, so that when you buy it, you know you have full guarantee that everything's going to be fine, and you can usually save between ten and fifty percent. Okay. Last question, Carrie. What is an acceptable? area to maybe overspend a little bit and treat yourself. There's got to be some, some aspects of life where it's, it's okay to overspend. You know, for sure. Um, I think we all have guilty pleasures and I know from following you on Facebook you love a big order of books online. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> yeah, I love that too. I also love sports equipment and I think if you set aside a fun account in your budget so you can meet your, meet your daily costs, you know, your mortgage and top up your tax free savings account and, you know, and contribute to your RSP, I think it's perfectly fine to save up for, you know, life's guilty pleasures and not be guilty into going into debt and to enjoy them at the end of the Great. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you.